the William J. Pete Knight Veterans Home of Lancaster, California, began as a dream a few years back when a grassroots veterans movement began working towards the construction of this facility here in the beautiful Antelope Valley. This movement gained momentum over the years, and many federal, state, and local elected officials joined the bandwagon and began working to accomplish this dream of building this veterans home. staff of general services who oversaw this project as well as the project manager a URS corporation. It's wonderful to be here in a beautiful home. We had a chance to walk through it and uh, it's gorgeous and it's just what uh, our California heroes deserve. How well we treat the veterans in our country determines more about us than about them. And I am truly proud to be a mayor of a city that has one of the finest veterans' homes in the nation. This home means a lot to the uh, people here in the Antelope Valley because it's the first one in L.A. County. And we have a lot of vets up here that are going to take use of it, I'm sure. And if I was eligible, I know I would. And uh, it's good to have it here. The homes are built with the safety and comfort of the veterans in mind, built as neighbors in neighborhoods to be a part of the community and not as an institution. As you tour this facility, you will see that the department has achieved the goal of providing the best care and enhanced quality of life for our California veterans. So it's great for the veterans, it's great for California, it's, uh, we're really looking forward to it and appreciate the collaboration um, that we have enjoyed with the state. This is a wonderful day for the Antelope Valley and it certainly is a, a reward for all those people who worked so hard to see this uh, over the last uh, 15 plus years and so it's a great gift to the community. I appreciate all the hands that made this possible. Well, this is a 17 or 18 year process. It wasn't just the legislation that got us here and uh, people like my father obviously was kind of the impetus to getting this, but people like Captain Kraft, the uh, Veterans Committee, people just from the community that stepped up and volunteered time, volunteered money, and kept this push alive. Well, the, the community in general is very, very supportive. Uh, as you know, this is a community that supports the military, Edwards Air Force Base being so close by, and so many veterans in the area. It, uh, this is really something that has come to fruition after many, many years of planning, fundraising, and uh, negotiating in Sacramento. So we're so happy to see this day get here.